Freddy's sporting some new fashions. Here's your relook at the NECA Toys Wes Craven's new nightmare retro cloth Freddy Krueger. Introducing a new Freddy Cloth action figure from Wes Craven's New Nightmare, the seventh film in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise took the iconic character in a more menacing direction, closer to Craven's original intentions for Freddy. This 8-inch figure is fully posable and comes with two interchangeable heads, a removable trench coat, and a removable hat. Just recently, per viewer request, we had a look at the Wes Craven's New Nightmare Ultimate Freddy, even though he really wasn't considered, I think, at least an ultimate version. I thought while we're on that trend of looking at Wes Craven New Nightmare Freddy's, that we would look at the retro cloth figure next. Before we do a couple of comparisons and, of course, look at the accessories that come included with this figure, let's get things underway by grabbing first the tape measure. Clickety click, Barba Trick. That's from Barba Papa's, in case somebody was curious. The figure of Freddy stands about seven and a half inches in height, or the figure's roughly about 18 and a half centimeters tall. And hitting that ever crucial comparison quota, let's bring in a couple of other new Nightmare Freddies now. Here's what retro cloth new Nightmare Freddy looks like next to the much older cult classics Hall of Fame, new Nightmare Freddy. The one that we're about to have a look at benefits not only from having clothing, at least that you can wear over top or the figure can wear over top of its body, but it also has crucial articulation that wasn't present on the original cult classics version of Freddy. Just recently as well, again per viewer request, we had a look at the Ultimates. Again, not really considered Ultimate at least, but this is what the figure looks like next to the Ultimate New Nightmare Freddy. You can definitely see, first of all, a big size difference. And I also think, too, that the retro cloth figure, and I might have even said it in the first time, the very first time we had a look at the figure as well in this channel, that I think the retro cloth New Nightmare Freddy does think a little bit better both on paint and head sculpt as well. Accessories for Retro Cloth Freddy share the same quantity and same accessories as the Ultimate figure we just recently had a look at. The figure comes included with the Demon Head alternate head sculpt as well as the green fedora. Again, same as as before. Picking up first, though, the Demon Head, and I think that's the same accessory we started with last time too. I gotta say, like this one works things, does things better, at least from a paint and sculpt standpoint. I'm gonna bring in the one that came included with the Ultimate release so you can see the difference between the two. First of all, I think I have to award the paint to the retro cloth. Not only is the mixture of both the kind of more of a warmer orange mixed with the reds, I think make for a nicer contrast than the very stark red that we get brushed across the surface of the plastic here for this version here. Another fun comparison. Not that I have enough hands to really do all this, but I'm just going to put this one down here for a second. This is the, by the way, the one that came included with the Hall of Fame, Freddy. A little bit smaller in size, although I'll just pick up the one that came included with the Ultimate release. If I only had had three hands, let's see. I'm going to hold all three of them here as best as, as best as I can get it. We're going from smallest to the biggest, and I think the paint has gotten, well, maybe not the paint's gotten better in the middle, but definitely I think the paint's gotten much, much better, though, in the Retro Cloth release instead. Again, the difference between the three heads. Retro Cloth, uh... Cold Classics Hall of Fame, and then the one the, on the end was the Ultimate release. Okay, got to put those to the side. The figure also comes included with his fedora. And I do think like the fedora is also handled better here on the Retro Cloth release than what we get here with the Ultimate. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the one that came included with the Ultimate. Uh, the green is definitely a little bit more noticeable here on the Retro version. It also seems to be a harder plastic too. It's less able to be squeezed. This one you can squeeze until the cows come home. Squeezing the fedora until the cows come home. Is that a song? Probably isn't. But this one's a much softer plastic. It's a much darker olive color, too. And again, I think like the green works better here for the retro cloth release. This, of course, can fit on top of Freddy's head. Where other places would you be putting a fedora? Don't answer that. You can put that on top of his head. It does finish the look nicely of Freddy. Taking the head off here for one second, the continued trend of better paint seems to be also carried to this head sculpt here. Just to bring in the other Freddy so you can see the difference between the two. Overlooking the fact that he's seeing somebody on the side. That joke was bad the first time I said it. Uh, this Freddy, I think, much has a much better head sculpt, honestly. Both the paint as well as the head sculpt itself is a lot better. I think the only thing I would really award this one at being better at is maybe the expression on the face and the fact that the eyes are a little bit more noticeable. Even though, yeah, he is looking off to the side. I do like the darker color that they used around the eyes. It 
does give for a nice darker contrast. And I got to say as well, like the little muscle fibers that he has underneath scratched away on his on the flesh on his face actually does look better on this one than what we get here with the ultimate release. Uh, bodies are uh, obviously not going to be the same. This one is using the retro cloth body. This one is using an all molded body. But you can kind of see really where one would have started the concept and where the concept gets continued here with the retro cloth. Uh, because of the nature, of course, that they're using a real material, I think they succeed better with doing a better looking sweater. The sweater is a higher collar too than what we got with the alt with the original Freddy Krueger sweaters. And again, like the colors are swapped. So instead of having the red and then the green, you're kind of getting green and then the stripes being in red. And then like the one that we looked at already as well, and also in the movie, he does have the same sort of similar striping on the inside of his jacket. The material on the inside sort of feels almost like parachute material. You remember the days of kindergarten and going underneath the parachute? teacher would lift the parachute up kids will all run underneath and you drop the parachute down apparently it's still something that kids are doing now in school according to my daughter at least sort of that's the material that they would have used here like the seam work is actually pretty good on this but again like you've got the alternate colors of the both the green and the red the outer material that they would have used i would probably best describe as felt if you've ever you you know made anything out of felt it's kind of the material that you're probably used to seeing and certainly does feel like felt when I'm looking at it on the figure. Again, you can kind of see where everything would have been cut up in patches and then sewn together. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I think the material probably would have been a different material in the movie and not so much like a felt material like this, but to at least to the credit of NECA, it is at least something. You can remove the jacket too. The jacket does slide over top of his hands. Although the thing I would re really recommend, obviously, is to remove the hand from this socket, which is not a super easy thing to do either. You kind of have to twist it back and forth and very carefully, very carefully remove this from the socket. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this successfully on camera. I may even have to heat the hand slightly on the peg. Maybe we'll just leave it for the time being. But the, the purpose of that, though, is that you can remove the jacket. I would certainly recommend, though, taking the hand off and using a little bit of hot water or hair dryer. It does seem certainly tight, at least here on mine, when I'm trying to remove it from the socket. And the last thing I certainly would want to do, you know what I'm going to say, the last thing I'd certainly want to do, because I don't want to jinx it, don't want to jinx it. Let's see if we can actually remove this. It's coming very slowly. There we go. I'm going to remove that for the time being. Just in case you guys did want to see what it looked like, I couldn't simply just phone it in and tell you, just describe it. You guys would want to certainly see it. Slide the jacket off the one side and then do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to see if I can keep the hand in place here without having to remove it. All the, all the hassle I had of trying to remove that other hand, I don't want to do this. I want to re re repeat the steps. Let's see if I can actually get this over top of his hand. Yeah, of course it's going to have to. Of course it's going to have to have a widespread finger. It's going to make things even harder when it comes to removing his hands. Do do bear with me. There we go. All right, jacket is removed. Jacket's right there. We're going to put that to the side. Even though this isn't really the way I would have displayed Freddy, anyways, it's more just to show you that you can remove the jacket. That's going to be a new nightmare to get back onto him see what I did there. Let's go ahead and pop this back into place. One thing I can do, at least with the retro cloth that I couldn't really do when we looked at the ultimate, G uh, the ultimate Freddy, is I can actually show you a better look at what the glove looks like now that he doesn't have the longer length of the sleeve. Uh, the glove actually does look better here, honestly, on this figure than it did on the original Freddy. I'm just again bringing in the other one so you guys can see. Just bending his elbow just a little bit. There we go. The one below... Not that I really have to tell you. The smaller of the two is the, from the Ultimate Freddy. The one above it is the Retro Cloth release. I do like the coloring a lot more. Even though I'm not digging the design of the glove necessarily, I got to say like the redder hand does make the bone then stand out a lot better. I do like the way that the hands are more fanned out. There's the inside of what the hands look like. I'm going to put that to the side. So yeah, even though I don't really like the look of the glove, I got to say it actually does look better here on the Retro Cloth release. All of the fingers luckily have survived the test of time. I've actually had this figure bagged away for a while, actually, because I didn't really have them on display. Let's put the hand in completely. The figure also seems to have better articulation. No, I've noticed here on the hand, too. Not only can you rotate it all the way around, but you can also hinge it back and forth, too. Just a little bit easier than when we looked at the Ultimate release. 
For the rest of his outfit, we've already established the fact he does have these swapped around colors for his sweater, but he does also have leather pants. The other figure obviously would have just been molded plastic. Here we actually get a chance to see some real pleather action happening here. It looks okay. I mean, again, it just, I don't really like the look of that on Freddy. I just like the more traditional pants that he would have wore. And of course, he's got the higher kind of military boots that he's wearing too. Unfortunately, with this figure too, because it's also an older retro cloth figure, you can't ankle pivot. So sad. I'm sorry to break the news to you guys, but yeah, you can't ankle pivot them. You can only move the feet back and forth this way, but at least to Freddy's credit, he seems to stand a little bit better than some of the other retro cloth figures that also have been plagued by having the older bodies. For the articulation, though, on Freddy, we're going to start things off first with his head sculpt. The head rotates all the way around. It hinges down and hinges up, and you can also rock it back and forth as well. Taking the arms, they also come out comfortably at 90 degree angle. You can also take the arms, move them forward, and move them back. You can also swivel up the bicep, single hinge the elbow, and you can also rotate the hand back and forth. Also seems to be one of my favorite sweaters we've gotten with the retro cloth figures. Even though I don't like the swapped around colors, the alternating of the colors of what we get here in New Nightmare, I, I think like the sweater is one of the nicer looking sweaters we've gotten from an ultimate or retro cloth Freddy. Uh, the upper torso isn't on the ball joint because again, they're using the older retro bodies, but he does have a swivel in the waist. The legs split out. You can take the legs and bring them forward, bring them back. There's a swivel at the top of the thigh, single hinge only on the knee articulation slightly on the boots, and then again, you can move those feet back and forth. I think for the time being, I'm going to just use the fact that the figure does have no jacket on. We started after all these, the video, the review, with the jacket on the figure, so I think we'll probably wrap things up. And also, too, it's going to make much more of a hassle of me trying to get, get that back onto his body. But again, one last time, just to bring in the other Freddy we finished looking at earlier. Again, this was all due to a viewer request. If I actually still had the figure, would I actually have a look at it? And I would say yes. I was more than happy to oblige. And then it continued that trend, having then a look at the retro cloth figure that we looked at in this video. Which honestly, even though I don't like the look of Freddy, I never really liked the new Nightmare movie either, even though it really was the first horror movie I ever watched. I gotta say, like, it handles better here on the retro cloth figure. The colors seem richer, sharper. The features on his face also seem clearer. And the glove also looks a little bit better on this figure too. And I think it is also one of those figures that work better as a retro cloth. Sometimes when you're looking at figures, especially ones that have trench coats like this, you can't really completely convey that in plastic. It usually means it just looks like a, a shell of plastic over top of the body. The retro cloth actually does things a little bit better by using a real material. Granted, it's felt. I don't know if it's actually felt in the movie. I would imagine it's probably not. But still, it's actually a pliable material that you can still move the figure's arms around. He's not limited. Not that the other one was limited, but I do think like the retro cloth figure of Freddy does things just a little bit better than the ultimate we looked at before. You know, having the jacket actually off of Freddy, he bears a little more of a resemblance to Super Freddy. I figure I still have in my collection somewhere, although the whereabouts of the cardboard cutout that came along with that Freddy, unknown. I have no idea where that actually went to. But if you guys certainly would mind to see a Super Freddy without the cardboard cutout, be happy to oblige. Just a matter of trying to track it down as it certainly also is a reminder to me of having the jacket off, of just how silly the jacket looked like on Freddy. Yeah, on paper, sure, adding a jacket to a character like Freddy could make him a little bit more ominous, make him a little bit more threatening and scary. But just the way it was handled, a lot of it was just so, sort of colored by numbers. This was scary at the time, or the popular thing to do at the time that this movie came out. Let's give characters trench coats. Let's give them military boots. And why not? Why we just change out Freddy's glove altogether and give him bone hands instead? Again, it seems so formulaic, the way that they had to have all these things added on to Freddy, where really, Freddy was scarier, I thought, without all of these things. Still, it translates nicely here to a retro cloth figure, I think, to the least the credit, whether I like the design or not of Freddy from New Nightmare. It actually does make for a better looking figure in the retro version than it does when we looked at the all plastic version of Freddy. Again, the colors seem more colorful, richer. The f features, as we've already discussed already on this, uh, when we were looking at this figure in this video, just seem a lot nicer on Freddy. It also benefits from the fact of actually having the real fabric for the jacket. Again, I know it's all the things I've already talked about, but I think it's actually a figure that works the best. And there are examples of there out there uh, where sometimes the retro cloth figures actually do it better than the ultimate releases. I felt the same way when we looked at the retro cloth Pennywise too. I thought the retro cloth Pennywise actually looked better being able to use real fabric instead of molding things in plastic. I'm still for an ultimate figure, 
But I think when time comes, and depending on the character, sometimes they actually look a little nicer as a retro cloth figure. And I think Nightmare Freddy, New Nightmare Freddy, actually is a prime candidate of that. Silly or not, ridiculous or not with that trench coat, he actually looks better, I think, as a retro cloth figure. What do you guys think, though? Let me know down below in the comments section. First of all, let me know, do you think that Wes Craven's New Nightmare Freddy was scary? Or do you think he was a little silly and a little formulaic? Let's give him military boots. Let's give him pleather. Let's give him a long trench coat. Those are all the things apparently I thought that they would be scary. That's what Wes Craven's thinking to himself. But did you think that Wes Craven's new nightmare was Freddy was scary? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you are enjoying the video or have enjoyed the video, seeing as we are wrapping up things right now, why not hit it with a like? If you're enjoying the content that you're seeing and certainly want to stay on board for more, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on so you're going to get reminders every single time a new video pops up. And also speaking of videos popping up, at the very end of this video, we'll also be popping up a playlist of other NECA retro cloth figures I've looked at in the past, including the Freddy that we just finished having a look at in this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.